Let's see how we can add an MCP server to cursor. First, we need to find what MCP server we want to add. We can do that by going to glama.ai forward slash MCP and then searching for whatever server we want to add. So I search for file system and I search for the local ones. And if I scroll down, the one that I want to choose is the official model context protocol file system MCP server. Once we click on this, we can scroll down to where we need to copy the configuration in order to get it to work with cursor. Once you scroll down, there should be the configuration for the JSON that we want to copy into cursor. This portion should be available in all of the MCP servers on this site, but if it's not, you'll have to figure out how to configure that particular MCP server to work with any of your clients. This particular one is pretty simple. It uses an MPX command in order to run this model context protocol server file system. And then it has a couple arguments here, or you can have as many arguments as you want in order to give it access to certain folders inside of your file system. So let's go ahead and and highlight this portion inside of the MCP servers object and copy it. Now, since we're using MPX, you will need to have Node installed on your system. So you can go to nodejs.org forward slash en forward slash download to download the particular version of Node that you need for the MCP server. Just the latest stable version should be good enough. And you can come down here and click on the installer for your particular operating system and install Node. Next, since you have all of the pieces installed, all we need to do now is just configure the MCP MCP server inside a cursor. To do that, we need to click on this cog in the upper right to open the cursor settings. And then inside of here, navigate to the MCP tab on the left-hand side. And then now we can click on this button to add a new global MCP server. This should open up a new file that we can edit called mcp.json. And inside here, you'll notice that we have this MCP servers object, and we need to paste in that piece of configuration that we got earlier. Now for this particular server, I need to update these arguments for file system to know which files and which folders it can use inside of my file system. So I'll update those real quick. Now that I updated them, I gave them permission to use the documents projects folder and the downloads folder. Next, you'll just need to make sure to save this file and then we can go back to the cursor settings. Now inside of the MCP tab, it already gets to work actually installing and running the file system MCP server. And you can see that we have all of these separate tools that are now available to us inside of cursor. So now this should be ready to go. If you don't get the green dot here, you may need to refresh that MCP server in order for it to show up as green. If it's yellow and you have tools here, that means it picks up the tools. It just might have some issues. So if you hit this refresh button, it should clear that up. Next, let's go ahead and use it and see that it works. So I'm in the chat window of the agent and I'm using Claude 3.7 Sonnet and I'm asking it, can you use the MCPs and tell me the number of folders inside of the projects folder? And this is a good thing to note because I'm telling it to use the MCPs. Sometimes this agent will instead not use the MCP and try to run commands on your terminal in order to get it to come up with the information that you want. But specifically, I wanted to use the MCP server. So I'm telling it, can you use the MCPs? Now, when I hit enter, it should use the tool that I have installed here. So cool, now that it's generating, it's saying that it's calling the MCP tool list allowed directories. And I have to explicitly tell it to be able to run the tool or otherwise cancel. So I'm gonna tell it to run the tool to keep it going. And it keeps asking me for more approvals. So I'll keep saying run the tool. All right, and it tells me there are 41 folders in the directories in the projects folder and it identified that there's also one file in there. So it worked just like we wanted it to. This file system server was used inside of the chat window with cursor, and we were able to meld the two functionalities together. So with that, that is how you get and use an MCP server inside of cursor.